huge things for presentation. For me, it's a great honor to speak uh, in this forum. There will be some dubious points, questionable points. It's known that the number of uh, reconstructive procedures is going on, aesthetic operations are going on. I have the honor to participate in these operations and to listen to uh, the presentations of my colleagues in different conferences, uh, surgeons who do oncological surgery, uh, radiologists and uh, chemotherapists. There is a tendency that the quality of life is on the front. Roughly speaking, we manage, you manage to treat uh, cancer effectively at the early station, station thanks to chemotherapy, thanks to radiotherapy. Uh, the development of reconstructive surgery is going up. It's a very relevant issue because the quality of life is on the front. When we are talking about symmetric operation, reconstruction of the breast as a whole, we ask the question, what will be the final result? We, have, we should have the symmetric breast, proportional ones, uh, with a certain volume. It should be mobile and should have a certain appearance and aesthetic. Symmetry, it's not just a simple point. Symmetry of the breasts includes the volume, the form, uh, their folds, the level of the location of the folds, uh, the level of the NAC, uh, their uh, low slope, uh, upper slope, uh, their warmth, uh, the color of the skin, the mobility of the breasts. We are talking about the timing of the operations. Asymmetry, it's a very difficult situation that requires a certain approach. Sometimes we see the situations uh, when uh, surgeons, so they say, oh, we did mastectomy, we made reconstruction, we need just a bit of lifting uh, to achieve symmetry. It's a very difficult part for any surgeon who, operate on the, who operates on the breast. It may be plastic surgeon, oncologist, surgeon, ecological surgeons, uh, or aesthetic surgeons. Symmetry and asymmetry, it's a very difficult problem of the breast reconstruction. It's a process or combination of operations and methods. Very rarely in these situations, there will be one stage operation. If we can do this, we are lucky. But Breasts, they are changeable due to the time. And these patients, they come to us back again and again. It's a standardized, classic patient. I'm a plastic surgeon. Uh, they need only to, to make uh, breast harmonious, to make the breast larger. But it's not a simple task. You see the asymmetry in terms of volume, in terms of location of the uh, shoulders, scoliotic deformation. And we, when we have re achieved a certain result, and we like it, it doesn't mean that a patient will like it. One more patient who referred to me with aesthetic demand, but scoliotic deformation, asymmetry on volume, and um, very high expectations. It's a young girl. To solve this task, to preserve symmetry, it's not simple. Um, the result quite good. The symmetry is better. When we are talking about uh, this type of operation in oncological patients, the task has become more difficult. I think that for current patients, it's not a criterion uh, that low the bars of their expectations up to the zero level. Time passed uh, that patients, uh, they uh, put some pads in their bra. 
after sectoral resections, after their resection, after their symmetry, uh, their radiation impairment, we can achieve a type of a symmetry, but it's not easy. It's difficult. And the more extensive a symmetry is, uh, the more is, uh, the more complicated the symmetry is. It's very difficult to achieve a certain results. It's a patient with a scoliotic deformation, with a symmetry on volume, with the radiation uh, related impairment of the skin, a symmetry on location of the folds, uh, the absence of the. NAC, it's not just easy to place the implant. We have to make the full reconstruction and we have to select the implants for the right breast as well. We are talking about scoliotic deformation. We don't operate only the breast. We operate a patient. We shall take into account the location of the shoulders, uh, the ribs. We have the scoliotic deformation. Of course, uh, this patient will have multi-stage operations to achieve this satisfactory result. And even in this case, I think this operation is not satisfactory. Maybe we have achieved symmetry on volume, on warmth, but not on mobility. In appearance, everything is, seems to be okay, but it's a difficult patient with a difficult asymmetry. On the right, we shall do the, perform the reconstruction, but please uh, bear in mind that the left breast is to be reconstructed correctly as well. And the women body, a woman body, it's a difficult thing to handle after the expanders uh, implantation, after the radiation therapy, after the changes in the skin to hardness and tightness, after the changes in the folds. Of course, it's very difficult to handle. This breast will behave completely difficult, different. Regardless of uh, the fact how the bad, how bad, uh, how well we reconstruct, how well we are perform the flap, uh, regardless of the result we achieved at certain stage, I am not sure that this result will last for a long time, maybe yes, maybe not. It's uh, this complexity, this talk that we have to uh, perform with the patient. On the left, for example, operation on the right, on the left, uh, this uh, task can be decided and can be solved comprehensively. It's a separate operation so that is to be performed correctly based on the main principles of the plastic surgery. In the case of the left breast of this patient where implant is being, was placed, uh, so we shall to do the reconstruction on the right, clearly understanding what kind of plan we will select for the left breath. When we start operating on the right breast, doing reconstruction, we clearly we are clear what shall we do. In this case. What we do on the left breast will depend uh, their our management of the right breast. What kind of what kind of uh, expander we will place? What kind of implant then we select? And how we will take into account musculus latissimus dorsi uh, when we use uh, their abdomen flap? Uh, then we performed reduction, reductive mammoplasty. And this result may be final for this patient. She may say, I'm happy with everything. Only uh, perform, uh, make uh, the nipple under their uh, local anesthesia. That's all. Uh, when we perform symmetric 
achieving symmetry, achieving operations. Uh, there are quite few of them. All the operations, they are standardized of a plastic surgeon operations. We do this quite frequently. It's an implant placement, it's lifting according to areola, uh, implant placement, lifting with a vertical scar, and so on. It's important when these operations, symmetric achieving, symmetry achieving operations are to be performed. The algorithm are the following. If you are talking about immediate reconstruction, if you, you, you perform mastectomy, then expander, then a free flap, I will perform the next stage in six months, not early. And maybe this patient will need the third stage operation in a year and a half, because you don't know how the expander, how the implant will behave. If we are talking about uh, mastectomy with the immediate uh, implantation of implant, contratal breast is to be operated immediately. Which we are to be clear and we have to warn the patient that this second stage uh, is looming and patients, they are to be ready for this. Regardless of the result, oh, you should understand. Patients understand that uh, changes may happen in their future and the breast will become, will behave differently. If we are talking about delayed reconstructions, if we uh, place expander in the count a later breast in six, eight months. The similar true for the free flap. If we do deep uh, free flap in six months, if we use uh, uh, lo uh, the flap with the uh, expander, shimmers, sometimes so we are do this simultaneously. Uh, they're grafting of the free flap and the operation on the second breath. This point is to be discussed with the patient. And usually corrective operation uh, is to be done in 6 to 12 months. But everything is changed in case of the radiation therapy. We understand that our plan may be changed. How it will be changed, I don't know. I have the philosophy. If you plant uh, their uh, radiation therapy, ideally it's better not to do any reconstruction and only in six, eight months to return back to the situation and do reconstruction. If it's possible to preserve the free flap, uh, we should uh, warn the patient uh, that uh, the uh, rate of uh, complications may be higher. Uh, the important question, who should perform the symmetry achieving operations? Uh, this is discussable point. I think uh, that uh, it should be performed by uh, a doctor, a surgeon with a postgraduate training in plastic surgery. Or there should be a team of surgeons, plastic surgeon and oncologist, because the problems may be very difficult to solve. Sometimes uh, there are maybe different mistakes, mistakes of positioning of implant, mistakes of working with the skin and with the fillers, mistakes are with choosing the correct time of symmetry achieving operation, the combinations of everything. There may be complications related to the implant, scars and combinations of all the factors. For you to understand, we we are plastic surgeons. Uh, the frequency of reoperation in case of a lifting of breasts, correction, the percentage of correction, corrective operations, 20 percent. Patients of the pay money. Uh, let's look. Uh, these patients who had 
asymmetry achieving operation performed. Uh, they were not satisfied. Uh, they came to us. Seven, eight operations were performed. The patient was not satisfied. And uh, then uh, sometimes we had to do everything from the scratch. One operation is good. Two operation is becoming more difficult. It's a pool of the problems that you will face as a plastic surgeon. Thank you for your attention.